Hey there, my name is Vitan, and for once on my channel, it is not time to play Doom, because we are playing Salako, which is a really fun new shooter that is currently out in early access, and I already completed it. Well, already. It took me like 20 hours or so. <laughs> and I had so much fun that I thought, why not play through the first chapter? I'm probably not gonna make this a series, but I just want to show you the game. Maybe you've heard of it, but you don't know what to expect, um, and maybe I can take you through it. I will go for all the secrets, all the things that you can get in the first level, <clears throat> first level, which consists of uh, several maps. And we are going to be playing, I'll quickly show you, there's easy difficulty, medium, hard, very hard, and extreme. We are going to be playing on extreme. Then there's some bonus modes, exploration mode, and Salaka must fall, which is uh, <laughs> not recommended for anyone. It, I tried it, it basically turns the game upside down, uh, a lot of high tier enemies spawning in the beginning, well, we're gonna play on extreme, which is also how I completed the game initially. Forget survival, this is suicide. We are also going to be playing uh, with fresh start enabled, so I won't have access to anything I collected previously. Then there's stuff like hardcore mode, which is not permadeath, but uh, there's no health regen, and you need to spend credits to save. Honestly, <laughs> really, really difficult. Then rifle reset is basically like pistol start, which I was thinking about, but honestly, on extreme difficulty, uh, it's hard enough as it is. And because you can upgrade your weapons in this game, I didn't enjoy losing everything as much. So we're just gonna do it like this. We have item scarcity and harsh evasion, which we will get into later. All right, let's start. So yeah, this is going to be the first game that I'm playing that isn't Doom. And here we are in level one. Pathfinder Memorial. So, first of all, <laughs> meet our bear, Wilson, or Teddy Bear. Makes a really cute sound. And let's just take a bit of time to look around. Um, yeah, we had to wait for that anyway before we could leave. We are, as the name, uh, name suggests, in the hospital. Uh, there's a get well soon balloon here. There's this beautiful card here. Uh, let's turn the light on, actually. There we go, that's better. With uh, an insane dad joke. <laughs> Get well soon. <laughs> uh, and let's eat the sandwich because we are at 99 health and this heals us. And before we leave, open up the locker, get some credits. So yeah, this is going to be kind of a mix between some of a walkthrough, but uh, yeah, I, in the later maps, I really, so in level one, I, I know what to expect, right? I know where the secrets are. But in the later levels, I don't. So I'm probably just going to keep it to this one. <laughs> but we'll see. Okay, here we are on the prologue. So starting off with purple door. We need to find a purple card for it. So what do we have? Of course, I do know where to go. But I'm taking a bit of time to just look around. Ooh. That <laughs> still throws me off guard. Rip those people. Also, we have uh, a Ragnar Cola. Yes, there are a lot of references in this game, and it's awesome. Okay, let's go over here. Never forget Earth Memorial Day, August 25. Let's go in here. A little tutorial about climbing ledges. Go in here with Control key. You crouch by default. And let's take this flare with us. Don't really need it, but it's cool. Lock the hatch. Now we get a new mission because we don't have any weapons. We cannot do anything currently. So let's try to sneak past. Because well, there's an enemy right there. So let's run, 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 run. Keep going, and the door will close behind you. <laughs> At first, I was like, "Am I missing something? Am I?" Can, is there a weapon in that room or in that area? But no, you have to uh, continue on ahead. Go through here. Take this flare with us as well. Yes, there is a news report about some sort of terrorist attack. Another explosion just came from inside. And then we also have this. We have. Uh, I was listening to the report. 
<laughs> when you press caps lock by default, you have the menu, you have your uh, data logs, you have your objectives to see where to go, stats, and the data logs show you, well, obviously all the logs you've collected. So we already have quite a few. Uh, these are all my personal ones. I'm not going to be reading all of them out, I think. Wasn't sure what to do with this. So we have uh, things that are directed to Dawn, which is us, the main character. Then we have this about our rank in Aces, which I think is uh, some kind of security guard thing. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I've got what the abbreviation stands for, but we've upgraded to a captain with extra rights and we protect the people of Salako. Then, which is a community basically. Then we have a reporter here who wants to interview us because we just got promoted. I'm just going to open these very shortly. If you want, you can read them by pausing the video, of course. Then we have this one, Sal, who owns a bar. <laughs> and then here are the medical record for us. So you can learn a bit more about Dawn. Date of birth, no allergies, medications, oof. and a summary of the visits. All right. I think that's just how I'm going to do it. I'm not going to read everything, but I want you to be aware of it. Just so I have an idea that there is a lot of uh, world building. We will be collecting quite a few data logs. Okay, we did it. We found our weapon. And immediately, we're going to be attacked. So, let's get ready. We do not have any abilities yet, or abilities as in uh, we will get a dash later. And also kind of a dodge. We don't have it just yet. Gotta be careful. Oh, the music kicking in, I love it. Where are you guys? I know you're over there. Die. Nice. Now, I'm definitely not an expert at this game. Uh, I've learned a lot during my uh, playthrough. I've also died a ton on Extreme, by the way. Or Admiral difficulty, I should say. Oh yeah, you can uh, use a melee attack where you press Q. Yeah, then tutorial about how some objects can be flipped over, like the stretcher. You can use it as cover if you hide behind it. Not something I often do, honestly. And there's more. Enemies do a ton of damage, by the way. As you can see at my if you look at my health, it's crazy. Oh. I should also probably just Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> be hiding more or be more aggressive. But we'll see if I get through the level unscathed. Your health regenerates up to 35. And then anything uh above that you will have to find medkits or well stim packs basically. Okay, nice, we got some ammo. Did we get the ammo here? Because exploration, oh, yeah, see, there we go. Exploration is extremely important, which is kind of to be expected, like, all right, with a boom shooter. Still not a big fan of that genre or that term, but uh, what can you do? All right, let's move on. Really digging the music. Oh yeah, here you learn about uh, Q to pro Oh, yeah, for a quick melee strike, you can stun enemies, knock them into other enemies, and unaware enemies will be instantly killed. Although, doesn't always work. I'm not sure if it's because I'm playing on extreme. Because I'm pretty sure that enemy didn't notice me. What usually works for me is shooting them instead, and then they do tend to die. Okay, let's grab the purple key. Then, we immediately have the purple door. And we get oh invasion tier increase. And are there more enemies? I think we're fine for now. I just want to show you. So here we have the invasion tiers. Oh, do I hear someone? No. Okay. Tier one is for our grenades. Some enemies are now armed with grenades, and depending on the enemy type, uh, there will be different grenades. And this invasion tier, it will keep going up as you progress throughout the game. There are quite a lot of tiers, so enemies get stronger and stronger and stronger. And that modifier we saw at the beginning, when starting a new file, um, the harsh invasion one, I think enemies start with all the invasion tiers, which is an extreme amount of difficulty, honestly. They will have shields, they will have 
lots of things, but I'm not gonna spoil more. Okay, so we can now go in here. That's where the purple key. That's belonging. Data pad. Let's quickly take a look at it. Oh yeah, this is actually needed. <laughs> oh yeah, and the game also reminds you, you can open up the wrist codex by pressing caps lock. So, there is a keypad here. And the way to figure out the code kind of, kind of reminds me of Doom 3, although I haven't played Doom 3 that much. I think it was similar there, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so yeah, here you can see I've reset the passcode to 1432. Also, we have this right here. You can see uh, data about all the weapons that you pick up. Well, so not immediately. It depends. Yeah, with the assault rifle, 30 rounds, 14 damage per shot, and a bit of information. So, 1, 4, 3, 2. Let's go. Ooh. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Luckily, this is bulletproof uh, glass. You can kind of see it from the way the glass looks. So, uh, can't punch through it or shoot through. What we need, first of all, grab this. But this is what we need. We need our suit. Captain suit. We get the slide ability, dash ability, and the roaring cricket. This weapon is awesome. It's a revolver. Do we get more weapon? Uh, yeah, we get more info. Maybe you do get it immediately. I'm not sure. Nine bullets, but you can upgrade it. And 75 damage per shot. Now, headshots are a thing in this game. Um... It does matter quite a bit, and you can upgrade your headshots as well. Right here, get more info about the sliding and dashing. So you can uh, dash to the side, dodge like this. You can see the cooldown at the bottom. Very useful. And you can do this. Also very useful. In fact, if you look at this, and this is something I noticed uh, in my very first playthrough, before I had the slide, and I was stuck here for like 10 minutes trying to figure it out. Like you can now do this. And that is secret number one. There are four of them in this map. Let's also knock these things off. Turn off the power. That will reveal another secret a bit later. Let's go through here. I really hope I can remember all of them. If not, it's okay. Oh! I... Oh my god, my aim. I was... Uh... <laughs> Man! I got so... You know what? Screw you. I completely forgot that there were enemies here again. Alright. Well, that was horrible. Let's drink some Arachno Cola. I... I got so surprised. What? More? Wow. Oh, I think it's because I already opened the door. So the enemies heard me. Do you remember the two enemies that we saw r right before I grabbed the suits? I think two of them... Yeah, I think there were two of those. Anyway, let's go through here. Grab some more credits, another secret. Yeah, if I play like that, I'm going to die a lot. So uh, let's try to perform better. Then you can eat a lot of things in this game. They tend to heal two health. And it's actually pretty useful. Same for these things. You can purchase Arachno Cola, one credit each, not that much, but they all heal for two. So make sure that you uh, use them. I really recommend doing so on higher difficulties especially. And then here we have another secret. This door would not be open like this if we didn't turn off the power earlier. We get more credits, some ammo. Then let's immediately head to the last secret as well. Uh, and that one is hidden very well. Really, really well. Oh, more cola. Nice uh, little burp. Sometimes happens. <laughs> Let's see. Do I remember where that secret is? Uh, I do. We have this room. It's uh, the scanner here. You can interact with it. You can interact with a lot of stuff, by the way. Computer monitors. Press the keyboards. Oh. Uh, there we go. Well, it also turns on the monitor somehow for this one. But yeah, the secret is up here. And there's a switch right over here. And yes, we have a flashlight too. That opens up a door. 
right here. For more ammo. So that's all the secrets in this map. Um, but a level consists of multiple maps, so we have quite a bit to go. Okay. We need to... Yeah, let's go and take the long way around. There. We need to go over here. So, if you don't know where to go in this game, ooh, that was loud, you should follow the green lights, basically. You have the other map. So, uh, not even that different from, from Doom, I guess. And then you can see secret areas. They added this recently in an update whenever you find the secrets. It shows this green magnifying glass. I know it also shows these pink uh, areas, but that's not always there. It's not really that consistent. So it's the these icons you should be looking for. But yeah, of course, unexplored areas are usually ways to progress. And then also green lights. Drink this. There's going to be quite a few enemies here as well. Maybe I can grab this fire extinguisher. Let's see. <laughs> I guess that worked. Oh, I need to be careful here. I think there's a new enemy. Yep. There you are, but I'm kind of being ambushed. Where are you? There you are. That, I believe, is an engineer. They have a shotgun. A shotgun from close range will pretty much instantly kill me on this difficulty. Or nearly instantly. The damage is crazy. And because we're playing on a higher difficulty, enemies, well, they are very quick to react. But not only that, they also use pretty advanced tactics. They will surround you, they will uh, really close in on you if you're low on health. You can also hear from the voice lines and just lots of cool stuff. So you can't really just sit back and relax completely safely. You will usually get surrounded. Okay, on the data pad. Uh, yeah, I think... What was this one about? Basically, that it's been rough in the last few months. <laughs> Over the last month. From the chief medical officer. And also, there's more info about armor. This is good to know. So, if you have less than 75 armor, 35% damage will be absorbed. If you have more than 75, 50% will be absorbed. And then some attacks will kind of ignore your armor. There. Let's unlock the door. Once again. Oh. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Oh no. Not you. Nope. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Oh no. No, no, no. No, you don't. Oh. Man. It's so weird to do commentary while playing this. And of course I'm used to doing commentary while playing Doom, but I haven't done it with this game at all, so it's so easy to lose focus. But uh, one health moment, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, but hey, this is fun. I'm I'm really having a lot of fun. Yeah, make sure that you check a lot of areas. There are a lot of non-secrets. I mean, this isn't really hidden, but there's too many kits, right? There's ammo here if you need it. Let's slide under the door. Yeah, here you get another reminder about quick kills. Let's go over here. Do exactly that. There we go. Of course, the other, other enemies woke up. I really like the revolver. Whoa. Okay. Let's get you close. And... Wait, did the other one die? No, I think he's... Yeah, see? I hear you. See, this is what I mean. Enemies will try to sneak up on you. Oh, there's an engineer. Oh man, my health. Now. Okay, nice. Good headshot. Die. What is important to know? Oh, there's more. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god. Luckily your health regenerates, as we saw earlier. You're not coming this way? Ooh. 
Oh, I'm scared. I hear one of you. Where are you going? Where the hell did he go? He run away? Oh. Okay, I thought I could punch you, but you were too far away. Oh, I think you went back. Okay. <laughs> I need this ammo. Let's also grab a secret. Because we can see the armor here, right? The way to grab it. Oh, there you are. Okay, good. Is by hitting this fan. And we slide right in. Yeah, often you can see secrets beforehand. But the real trick is figuring out how to get there. And speaking of non-hidden stuff, so we just got the secret, right? Look here. There's 50 more credits. Not a secret, but still. Make sure you keep looking. And yeah, because secrets are hidden pretty well most of the time. That is why I really do not have all of them, or nearly all of them in the later maps. Okay. We also picked up some portable medikits. You can use them by pressing the Z button by default, so actually let's do that. Heals you for 50. You can carry three of them, and well, they're extremely useful. <laughs> and they can really save you in a pinch. Alright, we got the grenade. Uh, did we get info about it? No, not quite yet. But yeah, I don't think you need explanation about the grenade, right? Here we can see another secret. Bag of credits staring at us. No way to get there just yet. Can't open any of this. Here we are in the lobby. Um, I think... <laughs> the voice lines. Yeah, I missed a secret here as well. This one is hidden pretty well. You have these boxes, right? These crates. You can go up here. And look at that. Another portable mannequin. Or medkit, I should say. Uh, but yeah, they are very, very useful. If you want to survive on high difficulties, you really need to look out for armor, health, hidden ammo. A lot of stuff like that. And I love it. Okay. Oh. I did remember you. Kind of. Nice. There we go. Yeah, this is only level 1. So enemies aren't too strong. Oh, we have pizza here. Nice. I think it varies how much pizza there is in the box, and each slice heals you for two health. Because I got an achievement where I got a full pizza in a box, which is a big waste of food. <laughs> Alright. Grab some bonus health. Hit the switch. Grab the ammo here. Be ready for more enemies. As we get close. Oh, yep, over there as well. So let's be quick. Actually, let's slide out of the way. You're going to advance. Take you down. Oh, that engineer. Top priority. And then you finish off with a revolver. Nice. Bye. <laughs> yeah, there isn't always music, but I think that's fine. It really adds to the atmosphere. Oh, the Arachnacola machine is broken. I think that's fine. When it does kick in, it really makes it feel special. Okay, there's a lot of lockers here. But this one is a secret. More cricket ammo. Drink all of this. Very nice. Not a teddy bear. Now, one rule is that I will never harm teddy bears. This doesn't count as harming. It's uh, such a short hide. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's reload this. Oh, God. Oh, no, no. Okay, the engineer's gone. Oh, grenade. Oh, another grenade. I think uh, fire extinguisher exploded. Okay. Where are you? There. What? Who can do this? Oh, no, there's too many enemies. I think I saw another one. Man. Can we do it now? <laughs> yeah, as I said, I'm not an expert at this game, but I think the, the, the highest difficulty 
I don't suggest starting out with it. Don't be stubborn like me. Although I actually started out on one difficulty lower. And then after like three maps, I swapped to the higher one. Because I just really want to know if I was able to do it. Because I also knew... And look, it's me. I also knew that I wanted to probably make a video on it. On extreme difficulty. If I... Uh, well, I don't know. Just had the idea in, my, in the back of my head. So here we are. Ammo here. Um... This does not open. Oh. We have this fuse box. And I can show you what it does. We have this door, right? Stuck. So let's turn it off. And then we can go right under. And grab some blue armor. Which gives you 50 armor. Yeah, that's green armor for 25. Blue armor for 50. And that's higher tiers. I'm not gonna be too specific. Because it's uh, fun if you figure things out, right? Here. Oh, nice medkit. Here we have toilets. And you can flush them. Yay! You can flush pretty much everything. Almost everything. Don't, oh. Ah, I'm trapped. Don't do this. <laughs> oh, what you can also do. And I have to show you. Come on. Open up. If you flush this. Yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> of course, you can turn off, turn on, faucets, faucets, faucets. <laughs> I never use that word. Uh, and then, oh, more credits here. You might wonder what's the point of credits. Also, you have stuff like window control. Well, they are very useful. And hey, look, it's me again. Interview. Probably the interview that we saw on the data log earlier. Okay. Now, where do we need to go? This is where we came from. Let's look for green lights. Look, there's a green light. Just remember that. Follow green lights. That That's basically it. Because in this area, I remember being slightly lost at first. You need to follow the sounds. And we go up here. I think I missed a secret though, but... I'll go back for it later. Oh man. Grenade time. Ooh, did I even hit you? I, maybe I did not. Okay, good. Oh, okay, you're dead. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> uh, yeah. Then here we have the MRI station. And what's really awesome about this, I don't want to tell you right away, but I am going to show you everything, right? But just think for a second of what you could do here. So, you can turn it on. Okay, the MRI machine. Door closes. First thing I did, by the way, was put a teddy bear in. That doesn't do anything. <laughs> Because, uh, well, they don't actually have uh, bones and stuff. But, what you can do is an MRI. Ah, there we go. If you ever had an MRI scan, uh, you probably know that there's one thing that you are not allowed to take with you. And that's any sort of metal. So what happens if we put an office chair in there and we turn it on? Well, this happens. Amazing reference. I can already hear it in my head. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> and then this is opened up. And it's a secret. Shells and cabinet cards. As the game tells you, cabinet cards are used to unlock storage cabinets. They contain valuable items. And the cards are usually not far removed. So really got to search for them. Speaking of cabinet cards. Or cabinets, I mean. Here it is. So let's unlock it. Get a grenade and cricket ammo. Very, very useful. Now, you also might have. No! You also might have noticed this. And yes, that is a secret. You could either throw a grenade. But that is a bit of a waste, in my opinion. So I'm kind of searching for an explosive. You can use explosive barrels, but I think this should do just fine. There. Let's shoot it. 
There we go. And we get more credits. These are the credits we saw earlier, by the way. The the room we walked past. And this also caught me off guard for a bit, because I was trying to look for a way in for quite a while. But sometimes you, you will learn that you cannot go to a secret immediately. You might have to backtrack. You will get there later, maybe. All good things to know. Okay. Now, there's one more thing right here. Ah, don't fall down. Now, of course, the pace of the game, it can be as quick as you want it to be. I'm showing you all the secrets. Where it slows it down a bit. But what mostly slows it down is because I'm just doing a lot of commentary. So, you can definitely speed through the game. Just collect all the secrets if you know where they are. Sometimes you can take it a bit slower. Maybe you're looking for health or armor or ammo. And I really think it strikes a good balance. It's uh. Of course, shooting enemies is fun, but I actually do like exploration. Ow. Okay, um, we gotta go here, but... Grab some uh, credits here. Not too many, but hey. Every bit matters, that's four arachnocolos. We can go up here. Open this up. But, that's not what we want to do. We want to go here. Press F to activate the flashlight. Go through here. Follow the health bonuses. Let's grab some ammo too. Of course you do have oxygen. We are human. And that sound is the sound of a data log. Quite a few in here. This one is about, well, uh, patients in the hospital suddenly passing away after successful surgery. And the nurse... Uh, who's assisting on surgeries doesn't really believe it. That, the, that it's because of complications, basically. So, uh, she said this is a blatant lie. Then another doctor replies. I'm gonna go through the whole thing. But, as always, I do want to show you. If you're interested in the story, you can read basically everything. That's quite a bit here, and it's it's nice to read. I'm just not doing it for the video, because it, it would take too long. All right. Yeah, party hat. <laughs> it's uh, quite gruesome, by the way. What happened here? It's, uh, yeah. But at least got a party hat. <laughs> okay, let's go through here. Cricket ammo. Once again, make sure you look around. Listening to. Yeah, that. Um, do I go here? Do I go the other way? I think this works, but... Now I do want to know. Did I miss something here? And yeah, that unknown voice... Oh. Yeah, see? Good to check. That unknown voice... Quite scary. What could it be? Yeah, your flashlight does have a battery, but it recharges so quickly. Right, level 1-3. Lockdown. Yeah, you see that? <laughs> nice voice lines. <laughs> I think it's a bit broken. But yeah, so Salako is self-sustaining ecosystem, kind of a new home, something that was built. We will learn more as we get through the game, or you will learn more if you play the game. You will slowly learn what Salako actually is. Where are you? What is this? So we found some shells there. Over here, I have a cabinet cart. Let's slide over here. Nice, some credits. Yeah, there's two cabinets here. Two cabinets? Yes. <laughs> let's... Doesn't matter which one we open. I've got what's in what. Oh, that's armor. Always nice. Here you can see camera feeds. And what's nice is... Well, you might think, where the hell is this? Well, the other map shows you. Right now we're here, right? Then if you press tab, you can now see it's actually over here. And 
You can see it on the other map too. You can actually see that the area stays revealed. Same here. So these might be places of interest. Alright. We also have a keypad here. But we don't know the code yet. And... Data pad. And additionally, a door where we need security level 3. Now, this is something we cannot get right now during this level. We will need to backtrack. You will unlock fast travel later in the game. You will be able to go back. And security levels are something I will get into in just a bit. Also, we got the data pad. By the medkit distribution ratio. Um, that's a company called Gwyn. <laughs> Gwyn Co. And they basically get all of the medkits. And, of course, there's some discussion that it's unreasonable. It's about faster medkit production. Um, there. Just making sure that you can read all of it. And I will get into it as we learn more about the Gwyn company. You'll see. You'll see. Oh yeah, item crates. You can destroy these. And there's stuff in it like armor, credits, health, ammo. A lot of things. Alright, let's continue. Level 1 security door opened, or not opened, added to the minimap. Okay, let's see. So we heard some enemies. Let's see if I can sneak up on them, maybe. Oh, nope. I was spotted. Come on. Man. Okay, I got you at least. Yeah, so the hit markers are... Really nice. I think there's gonna be an engineer here too. So let's uh, retreat and use a revolver. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Nope. Yeah, make sure you hide in time or dodge. Man, my accuracy. Although, to be fair, I was a bit too far away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so as you can see this game. Oh, we have another wall here. It's kind of a mix between So it's not like classic doom in the sense of that you just run in and you can easily dodge everything and survive Sometimes you can sometimes that can be a very viable strategy, but more so when you kind of know what to expect um, If you know where enemies are coming from especially if, if you played the game before you can hear enemies, uh, you listen to the sound cues, that makes a big difference. Let's blow that up. Nice. Yeah. Why for Doom? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Um, but sometimes, yeah, as I said, sometimes you can play quickly, but sometimes you really just want to retreat for a bit. It's a bit more tactical, I would say. So, don't expect this game to play... Oh, God. No, you don't. Don't expect it to play exactly like Doom. Really treat it as its own game. Sure, it runs on GZ, or GZ, but uh, it's really its own thing. And that's cool. That's really fun. Okay, what else do we have? Hmm. I could use some help. Yes, thank you. Then... A sandwich. I'll take that. Let's go to the green door. Green area. Another data pad. Let's open it up. Ah! It's a code for spare parts for the MRI machine. 5478. Let's use that on the keypad we saw earlier. Pick up the purple cards. And the invasion tier goes up. When the game saves, usually when you pick up a key card, um, things will go down. So, enemies can now have deployable shields, which is uh, quite dangerous. So, it consists of multiple fragments. The centerpiece has the most health, but if you destroy it, the whole thing will uh, disappear. And energy attacks like the plasma, they will cause an electrocution. Okay. Let's see. Oh boy. Let's not stay... Near the smoke. It's hard to see. You guys are there, right? Yep. 
Come on. Oh, yeah, there's the shield. You know what? Let's shoot the middle part. Yeah, and then if there's only one enemy left. Oh, okay, you died. Yeah, if there's only a few enemies left, I like to just slide in and kick them or punch them. Because it's a lot safer. But you need to make sure that there's only one left. Otherwise, uh, you might very well die. Oh, salt rifle ammo in there. Nice. Keep looking around for boxes. Basically everything or anything. Then we have the purple card, so we can go up here. I do want to show you one thing. There is this room right here with blue armor. Just showing you because we will get there in, in just a bit. Okay. Lock the purple door. We have... Welcome, baby boy! <laughs> and here's a Gwyn machine. That's the company we saw earlier. Um, you will see a lot of these vending machines. And what you can do here is spend your credits. You can heal for 25 up to a max of 200. Of 75 credits. Or you can buy portable medkits. Which is uh, more expensive. But the trade-off is that you can use it whenever you want. So, you know what? Let's heal up. Why not? Although, wasn't needed, I would say, because there was actually a lot of cake here that I could have eaten. This whole floor was celebrating, uh, well, the baby boy. <laughs> so lots of cake, but uh, it's okay. These Gwyn machines, you should really, really use them. You really should. I know it's very tempting to save all your credits. That's how I tend to play as well, basically in any RPG. You know the phenomenon, right? Where you save all your items because you're like, Oh, I'm not sure when I might need it. And then you end up never using it. Don't do that here, especially on hard difficulties. Just uh, restock on health. Make sure you go in with a lot of health, with medkits. If there's a difficult encounter, that's what they are for. So, use them. Oh god. We have... I heard a shotgunner. Oh no. Let's go the other way. Man. Where are you? There you are. And that reminds me actually. I did not put in the code yet. For that. There. Wow, I lost a lot of health. You know what? Let's eat cake. <laughs> there. I didn't input this code yet. And I really should. Because there's something amazing. Uh, what was the code again? Uh, let's see. 5478. There. Yep. There the lock. Oh yeah, which is pretty much a love letter. Which is... Oh man. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. I love you, Rebecca, so very, very much. Yeah. It's uh, very saddening. Oh, all the blood. But we get this, a new weapon. We get a shotgun. I think there's sh uh, other shells here. Oh, we have quite a few of them. Let's use it. So it is extremely powerful. Look at that. And that. And that. And you're almost dead already, so screw you. <laughs> but yeah, if you hit... Point blank, you will almost kill everything with one shot. With the exception of higher tier enemies, but the shotgun is very, very good. And what I like about this game... Uh, should I heal? Actually, let's drink cola. What I really like about this game is that I feel like almost pretty much every weapon is extremely useful. Uh, some of them maybe do feel a bit weaker than others, but I feel like the balance is actually very solid. And that could also be a personal thing, right? Maybe I just prefer certain weapons. So, uh, yeah, but shotgun, when you get surrounded, use it. Use it when you hear someone walking close to you. Uh, footsteps are very audible in this game. And swap to the shotgun, immediately take that guy out, and then continue what you were doing. Okay, another keypad here, and this took me a while to get. I know it looks very obvious right now, <laughs> but I was looking for data, data pads. Or data logs and I just couldn't find them at some point I had all of them in this map 
But uh, no, sometimes you will have to look in the environment for clues. And we get this. Health injector. Which increases max health. Extremely good. I think it also heals you. So I probably should not have healed with the Gwyn machine. But oh well. That's okay. Let's continue. Not a dead look here. Oh yeah, these are all the congratulations. Very happy for you bringing a child into this world. It's two, you've been a shining light in my life. Yeah. Two Janus from the call. Very cute. Welcome, Carl. <laughs> Congrats. Yeah. It's uh, nice to see that they were celebrating, but it's also. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhat upsetting. I don't think uh, they're doing fine. If you look at all the blood. Okay. Follow this trail. Some health here. And you have another camera feed. Opens this door. Where is it? It is very close by. It's basically behind us. Uh, it's right here. There. Let's see, can I get someone off guard? There we go. That's an engineer down. You die, I hear someone walk up. Oh. oh, whoa, that was a nice one. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, I'm, oh my god. Oh. Well, that was a close one. I hear more. There. Yeah, I just uh, straight up didn't hit all of my pellets. <laughs> okay. That wasn't great. But we're still there. Still a one health. Oh, another one health moment. There's a turret there. You know what? Oh. That wasn't enough. I didn't hit. I think I hit the shield mostly. Now, I do think... And it's actually kind of a cool system that it is more likely to stay at one health instead of getting one shot. Maybe if you take a ton of damage, then you still just die. But I'm pretty sure this game has some sort of system that leaves you at one health most of the time instead of outright killing you. Kind of create those uh, epic moments, and I I like it. It's uh, it's exciting. Okay, there was a armor secret there. That's not all. That's also. Where is it? This. The second cabinet card that we were looking for. Then, where we need to go... Oh, actually... Do I have enough health? You know what, I think we'll be fine. What we can do... Is prepare this. Aha! And you can slide... To kind of make it go quicker. You can even... Uh, punch them. And they'll fly across the room. And more shells here. Actually, let's also blow this up before we move on. Oh, oh please. Yep, here we go. Here we get a security level upgrade. Now we can access all the level 1 doors. Remember the level 1 door we saw earlier? We can now go inside. So the level 3 door, uh, we'll have to collect more of those cards throughout the later levels. And then you'll have to backtrack. But that's uh, that's completely fine. Okay, let's go here. Oops. Grab the blue cards. Oh oh, right, this close. You know what? There we go. And there's also enemies here, so let's grab the shotgun. Oh god, I hear you. You need to die. You too. Sound is such an important part of this game. Nice. Yeah, that went well. I think I got all of them. Oh, got some armor here that I missed. Uh, anything else? Bullets. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Whoa. Hello. Excuse me. Where, where from? Oh, there. 
Headshot, headshot. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you heard that? Most of the troops have been lost. We need the juggernaut now. A voice line I actually didn't really notice. And I, I could swear the enemies came from this door, but nope. Uh, so this barrel was kind of useless. Oh, well. <laughs> now, that's another secret. Where is it again? I... I thought it was over here. Might be mistaken. No, it is here. This one, kind of hard to notice. I don't know if there's anything different, but you can open this. And get a portable medikit. Once again, very useful. Okay, let's head back. Hmm... There was some health here. There's cake. Oh, I never grabbed those credits. Oops. More cake. Why not? It heals us. So yeah, we have the blue key card. And how many secrets do we have? Seven out of nine. I am most definitely forgetting something. But that's okay, because I can show you something else in a bit. Hmm. Let's take out the glass. Come on. Nice. No engineers. Because they are scary. Oh. I never grabbed that one. Uh, oh, right. I showed you that armor earlier. Well, you can lower this. And then you go one floor down. This is how you grab it. Aha! There we go. Nice. Are the enemies here? Ooh. Yep. Kind of hard to see. Nice. Three shots. That's what I like to see. Also, we have the medkit uh, med production here. Nice, I love this weapon. So good. Uh, oh. <laughs> I didn't see you. That was awkward. Okay. We have a wife of doom there. And we can open this door. Oh, I actually did get all the secrets. Nice. And here we get a weapon upgrade kit. It increases our max ammo. Also, let's just use a portal med kit. Now, you can save this if you want, and the level state will be completely the same as it was. If you swap between levels, you can always go back and collect stuff. So you can always leave stuff behind and go back for ammo, health, whatever. Okay. Then, other thing. Enemies. What's this? Nice. So... We've got everything except for one data pad. Now I'm wondering. Did I... What data pad did I miss? Or is there another one later on? I'm also missing one secret. It might be on the floor uh, in the area. Yeah, in the previous area, I think. We'll see. Alright. Oh, I hear the data. The data pad. There we go. And it's about oh, the portable medikit here, or medkit. Then we have more ammo, oh, more ammo, <laughs> more info about the shotgun. 32 pellets per shot, 16 damage per pellet. That is an insane amount. Insane. Pull trigger, the lead target. And you can upgrade this as well. I don't think we will get into the upgrading uh, right here. I don't think there's a save room in level 1. We'll see. No, I don't think so. Can't really show that off. But you will uh yeah, you'll be able to upgrade your weapons in a lot of different ways and it's really cool. Now, do you see this thing? It beeps. And sadly, no, we actually have one secret to go. That's perfect. This thing beeps. And it actually shows you where secrets are. It's actually beeping faster already. 
to be careful though. So let's take it with us. More ammo. Good. There we go. Yep. Oh, another portable med kit, but I can't really use it right now. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. And we're back here. But you hear that? I think I kind of know where the secret is, but let's follow this thing. If I can. Hmm. Is it this way? Oh, look at that. Oh. It's right here. So this thing, it's a really cool way to... If you don't want to cheat, or cheat, you can play however you want. But if you don't want to spoil where secrets are, uh, you need to go... Over here. Ah. Nice. And now it's stopped beeping because we got all the secrets in the map. Only thing we do not have is one upgrade, and that is the one behind the level 3 security door. So we... We can't get it, sadly. Okay. Now, what you can do is also actually take this thing with you. You may shoot. Although, as I said, there's a very, very, very big chance I will uh, limit my playthrough to this video because I really just want to show you, show you the game. Hopefully, get you interested. Try it out for yourself. See if it's something you're interested in. Uh, also, where am I going? <laughs> Wait, where am I going? Should I go here? Yeah, I think so. Ah, uh, come here. Oh, it actually, it actually is beeping now. Hmm. Well, it only beeped as I picked it up. Interesting. Ha. Ah. Yeah, let's do this. I actually haven't saved. I've only used auto save, so let's just do this to be sure. Uh, it's actually not where I need to go. Go here. Yeah. So all the doors are closing. What's it gonna be? There it is. That thing does a ton of damage. So. I can actually kind of show you. And luckily you can kind of cheese this one, but look. And that's with 200 armor by the way. That's like 40 health gone, almost. This one... Luckily... Not too much of a threat. There we go. But still quite scary. What you do have to be careful for, or careful of, is if he uses his jump explosion attack. Because even if you stand up here, you can take a lot of damage. And um, in my experience on this difficulty, you might get one shot. Maybe not with this amount of armor, but uh, it's a thing. <laughs> okay, where did I leave my... Oh, god, did I leave it somewhere over here? I already don't remember. My, uh... Secret hunting thingy. Huh. You know what? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm gonna take you with me. So, as I said, in the later levels, I found a decent amount of secrets, but not nearly all of them. You will find more of these meters as you continue, but I'm pretty sure I missed some of them as well. But yeah, it's a great way to 100% the map. Okay. That's it. That's the first level. We got everything except for the upgrades. Uh, I thought it would take over an hour with commentary, but not even the case. Of course, if I would play it normally, I think it would be <laughs> a lot quicker. Hopefully at some point I will remember all the secrets and I don't have to think about them every time. But that's okay. You don't need all the secrets. Uh, I definitely didn't need all of them to beat the game. I just looked for them as I felt like I needed help or supplies or anything. But yeah, very, very fun game. 
That's why I put a lot of hours into it. Um, took me about 15 to 20 hours to beat on this difficulty because I died a lot. The in-game time showed 12 hours for me, but it was more around, yeah. But was it 15 to 20? Because I had to reload a lot of saves. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. It's uh, very different for once. Let me know how you feel. As I said, I think I'll leave it at this. If you really want to see the other levels, maybe I'll consider it if there's a lot of interest for it. But committing to a full playthrough might be quite a bit of work because I, I really need to look into all the secrets. And some maps have like 30, 40 secrets or levels, I mean. So, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Hope you check it out. Hope you enjoyed this different video for once. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.